Hello everyone, welcome to Fun FTC. My name is Zaire. Today we're going to take a look at the new season for FTC. We're going to make predictions uh, based on the information we already know. Now, I cannot guarantee this information will be 100% accurate. As I said, this is a prediction. However, I do believe that most things will be relatively similar. So let's get started. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Striker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Striker. Striker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state of the art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Striker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the tape and tool sets. Now that's an interesting thing to note because previous years had the tape set and tool set as separate products. Now here we have these as one product, which tells us two things. First of all, we can see that there is no white gaffer tape. This means that there won't be an alliance neutral zone like previous years had. But the main thing we can see is that since the only tool you'll need to assemble the field is a cutter, um, there won't be any large structures. Everything will come pre-assembled, which means that there won't be any extremely large structures like um, the wobble goals, sorry, not wobble goals. There won't be any large structures like tower goals, for example, because those need tools to assemble. Uh, there might be smaller things like uh, foundations from Skystone, if you remember, and uh, small things like that that don't need any assembly. I would guess that the cutter is for zip ties and such. So there might be some things that we need to assemble, but you won't need any tools for it, which is, first of all, refreshing for teams outside the US, for example, that don't use inches in their tools, and also for uh, shipping, it will be much uh, much cheaper for teams outside the US because there won't be any large game elements. The next thing we're going to take a look at, and this is perhaps the most major thing, is the shape of the field. The division between the blue and red alliance will no longer be vertically or horizontally, but rather diagonally. Now, this means a few things. First of all, we might see the uh, diamond uh, field, for example. So instead of the uh, point of view being from one of the sides, it will be from one of the corners, sort of a diamond formation, uh, which could be interesting to see. But the second thing is that we can see that it might be a little hard for uh, teams to adapt this into a half field because you can't uh, cut the tiles uh, diagonally. Oh. You can, but I don't think any teams uh, are going to do that. So this may present a challenge, but we can see that since there is no uh, alliance neutral section, it might be optimized for uh, remote play. Now, most regions do not have remote play anymore, and luckily most of them did have remote competition. Sorry. Luckily, most of them had in-person competitions, and of course, the championship was in-person. So, while I do not think that the uh, remote games are obsolete, they are becoming less popular, and yet, uh, first still decided to have it alliance neutral, and yet, so first still decided to not have anything alliance neutral in order to make it easier for remote play. So that's something we can look at. Now, the last thing, and this is perhaps the most uh, hard thing to guess accurately, is the game element itself. Now, uh, 
we did see how the uh, game elements for this year were cycled from previous years, and that worked out great for uh, veteran teams that don't need to purchase uh, new game elements every year, so that's a cost-saving measure. So we can predict that uh, the game element will be from previous years. Of course, it's not 100% accurate, but I think we can uh, predict that. So taking a look at all the uh, game elements from previous years, we got a few interesting options. Now, uh, noticeably, we don't have the ultimate goal ring in Andy Mark's clearance section. It's not on discount. Now, why is that? It could be because uh, it's meant for the next year. However, it could be just as likely that because of COVID, they didn't produce as many, so they can't put it on clearance. So it's anybody's guess, really. However, that's something interesting to note. We have many things that, uh, many game elements that could be available. Now, I would say that a Skystone, sorry, that a regular stone from Skystone won't be uh, next year's game element because First Israel has been giving them out to volunteers. So if it was uh, to be next year's game, they wouldn't have done so. So I think we can disqualify the Skystones. So we can see a few other interesting things. Um, I also think that since it's about energy and power, it will be yellow or white maybe. So I think it's safe to say that these won't be. However, we might see them in this, in this color. We might see them uh, painted yellow. So exactly the same thing as yellow. Um, this look, it looks like an interesting contender where uh, it could be called a power cell or a power ball or whatever that fits into the narrative of the uh, season. I got quite a few interesting things. Most of these are balls, by the way, so we can uh, predict that it will likely be a ball. It might be something else, but most, um, most things have been a ball, most game elements, so I think it's safe to say that it will probably be a ball. Um, now, so other things such as the limits, that's a little harder to guess. Uh, I personally think that they're not going to have such a small limit of only one game element at a time because it was quite a bit disappointing uh, in Freight Frenzy. So it might be two or three or maybe more. It obviously depends on the game objective and obviously the size of the uh, the game element because you can't if they're extremely large, you can't exactly put uh, three or four of them inside the robot. So that's something we will take a look at. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So when we'll have uh, Game Manual 1, we can predict much more accurately based on things that will or not will not appear in the Game Manual, in Game Manual 1. Uh, but that's set to come out in the summer. So right now, I think this is probably the most accurate uh, guess we can make as far to the... Uh, the most accurate guess we can make uh, as far as uh, this uh, period goes. Like I said at the beginning, this is not accurate. Uh, there is no guarantee. However, we can guess and we can predict. And it might be likely that these will be next year's game elements and field. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a great off season. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.